essentially the process of the design of the art was I just want to do a collage of a bunch of different shapes. Uh, some of the inspiration I got were from, of course, pictures of sponges, but I associated those with the shapes of nuclear cooling towers, and you can see that in the art. There are many awkward shapes, so I kind of, you know, that was the base, and that's what that kind of bent it around, added different sizes of them, and then, of course, added the color. It was a project that Miss Chase brought up, and we were all really excited about it. She was just kind of brainstorming it at the time, and we were all like, yeah, let's go for it. We went to the um, STEM school one morning, and we all just kind of sat down at a table. They paired us up, and um, a 2D drawing people, 3D students, and biology students all just brainstormed different ideas, and we came up with Dearborn Coral. I really liked the idea of being able to collaborate with other people to be able to do things, especially artists, because as a scientist, I'm able to have one particular viewpoint on a subject. With malaria, it was the effects of malaria, where it is from, and how it was able to affect a, great, a giant population. But collaborating with a artist was able to give me a new, whole new perspective on a way to look at it. Definitely learned a lot about as far as uh, really value in art and shape and of course the artistic techniques. But aside from that, also learning about the science side of it was also very beneficial. So my project represents the coral and the red on the top is an oil can. So my little impact is that the coral is a habitat for fish, they live in it, and the big deal is the oil can with the oil pouring down, it's showing pollution and the effects, and it's killing, it's, there's no coral at all where the oil is, it's ruining the home for the fish and the environment in general. I enjoyed it every step of the way between um, meeting with the artist for the first time, um, studying the topic, getting to know it a whole lot more, and then having everything just come together because the steps and the planning that went into it never really seemed that they would piece together. But in the end, when we were able to get the pictures with the artist statements and then the pieces of art together, it all just kind of clicked. And that's, that was an amazing thing for me because when you're looking at this, it's not something you necessarily see at first. Uh, science is not my best subject. I knew absolutely nothing. <laughs> I, I, thought I thought sponges were something lived in the bottom of the sea, like SpongeBob or something. <laughs> well, it definitely shows that art and science are related, and it's one of my better pieces, and I'm very proud of it, and I would have never thought of it if it wasn't combined with the science.